If this is your first time visiting here, I want to say welcome. If you have watched any of my videos, I want to say welcome back. Today, we have a powerful and uplifting topic, healing from church hurt. I understand that church hurt is a painful experience for many people, and I want to shed light on the healing process. In this video, I will discuss navigating the journey of healing and restoration after experiencing church hurt. Before we get ready to dive in, I do want to say that this video is beneficial for someone that has experienced church hurt. And it is also perfect for any Christian leader because it will help you to look at yourself and your behavior and to make sure that you are treating people the right way so that you won't never be the cause of someone falling away from God. So let's dive right into topic. Church hurt can leave deep wounds that affect your faith, relationships, and overall well-being. However, it is important to know that healing is possible, but there are certain steps that you are going to have to make in order for it to happen. Church hurt can be incredibly painful. It can even make you feel abandoned by those that you trusted the most. But through prayer and guidance, you can discover the power of forgiveness. I have to tell you that it won't be easy, but forgiving those who hurt you will allow you to release the bitterness and find healing. And I just have to say this, if you don't forgive and let go of the bitterness, it will hinder you in your relationship with God. And it's going to be hard for you to be able to move forward in your life because you are stuck and it's going to be impossible for you to find peace and happiness and also move to the next chapter of your life because you are holding on to bitterness and unforgiveness. One of the best things that you can do is connect with a supporting Christian community that can help you rebuild your faith and trust in church. Church hurt may cause you to question your faith and even feel isolated. And that is one of the tricks of the enemy. He wants you to feel alone, that you are by yourself, that no one cares. There is strength when you are a member of a spiritually godly church. And the devil don't want you to realize that because he wants to get you to not go back to church. Feel that you can make it on your own, that Church is a thing of the past. Don't let the enemy deceive you. One thing I want you to realize is healing begins with self-reflection. Examine your expectations and misconceptions about the church. It is very important for you to separate the actions of individuals from the true nature of God. By doing so, you will learn to place your trust in God, rather than relying on flawed human beings. Through prayer, studying the scriptures, and seeking wise counsel, you can find a renewed sense of purpose and a deeper understanding of God's love. So don't allow the enemy to trick you or to make you feel that no one is right. There are no good churches because that's a lie. God has leaders that is after his heart, leaders that take his work serious, leaders that's ready to lead and guide you, shepherd you into the truth. Church hurt can cause you to feel disillusioned and spiritually wounded. However, through prayer and seeking God's guidance, you can discover the power of vulnerability and being able to be your true self in Christ. I want to encourage you to find you a good church home and reach out to spiritual leaders within the church who can help you to navigate your pain and support you in your healing journey. Also, opening up about your struggles will help you to find empathy, understanding, and encouragement. I do want to encourage you to try to find a small group that is dedicated to encouraging you, supporting one another, 
which can become a source of healing and renewal, but one that is often found in connection with others. It's important for you to remember that while church hurt can be devastating, God's love and grace are greater. You just have to learn to accept it. By seeking forgiveness, self-reflection, and support from a loving spiritual community, you can find healing and restoration. Thank you all for joining today. I hope this video has provided encouragement and hope to those who are experiencing church hurt. If you have any personal stories or thoughts to share, please leave them in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Make sure to stay in for the next video about church hurt and the role of spiritual abuse, episode three. Thank you again. May God bless you. Bye.